out to you, J Mafia, the best mafia. I'm T. JT. And we back with another freaking video. Today, y'all, we doing a Q&A. Most of the questions are going to consist of, like, stuff for each other or stuff about each other or just stuff that we normally don't talk about. Okay. But we about to start now. We had to get everybody out. You know, the messenger, he not here no more, so yeah. we had to get everybody out. All right, you start. Without further ado, let's get straight to the video. All right, the first question is, how important is physical chemistry to you 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 in the relationship? <laughs> um, physical chemistry? I say chemistry. Chemistry. Physical chemistry. Yeah. Like touch? Like it's gotta be like, it can be touch or it can be like anything. I don't like being touch. Physical. I mean, I like being touched, but not like how much JT wanna touch me. But I mean, it's not really important to me. As long as you love me, you're not touching nobody else. Yeah. I'm more like a touchy person, so it's like I just like I go around back, touch me. It was just simple simple stuff. I don't like him touching me. <laughs> like big. Anyway. Who made the first move? JT. We not about to do no, I did not. JT. I remember that night like it was the back of my hand, bro. We was outside in my old house and you was like I had going home. I was like, nah, I don't want you to go home. Around this time we still been best friends. So I've been trying to tell her, like, don't leave. I want you to I want you to stay for a while longer. So she started hugging me and kissing me on my cheek. I said, You better stop before I kiss you on your look for real. Okay, cause you stopped kissing me on my cheek, so I kiss you back. Stop the cap. Don't that sound like he made the first move? Mm -hmm. I okay. kissed him on his cheek as you, best you, friends. Okay, you kiss me on my cheek. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell you. I said, okay, stop before I actually kiss you. You kept doing it, so I end up kissing you. You wanted the kiss. Come on, man. <laughs> he wanted me right so bad, but he made the first move. Anyway, next question. Uh, the next question go is, where is a place y'all want to travel separately or together as a couple? Okay, first. Separate, I want to travel to, like, North Dakota. I want to go to like somewhere like Dubai, somewhere out there with water at like, what's that damn place called that um, oh y'all yeah, don't remember, Bora Bora, that's what it is. I want to go somewhere like what the nice water at, together. Together, probably like somewhere like LA or something. Yeah, I mean together, we'll just go anywhere. We'll go anywhere together. As long basically. as we together. As long as we together, but yeah. I think the main number one spot is LA basically. Hell yeah. Nice breeze and stuff. But uh next question is what would you change about yourself if you could? That's hard. It's a lot of things. I really want to change like how mean I am. Like I am very mean. <laughs> you gotta shut the hell up. You I'm are gonna... you are very I I be trying, like I that's that's what there's really one thing, because I wanna be more nicer to people. I wanna be more approachable. I lie. I don't want to be more approachable. Don't approach me. What about you? Um, for me, it's more like the inner me, working on my inside self, like basically the doubts. Stop doubting myself, pushing myself to go stronger. But you know that comes with it. But I ain't tripping. You be alright. Yeah. Next question. Did J Did Jermonte made you gain your happiness back? That's the question I'm gonna ask. You gotta hesitate to answer that? It's crazy. <laughs> That's real crazy. No, y'all, he did. That's he crazy. did. I, like I said, I am very mean. And people always try my gangster and be very, you know, hurtful. And like I told y'all before in the last video, what's if I mess up? Like I said, 2021 was very hard for me. So, yeah. I would say, yeah, I guess. Mm -hmm. That's what she said, but... Anyway. I guess. Next question. I guess. What you doing if you win the lottery? Boy. What am I doing? First of all, I'm mm -hmm. going to pay off my car. And then I'm going to pay all my student loans off because I can't be in debt. You know what I'm saying? And put the rest of my savings account. I don't know. I might take a trip. Um, 
go like like I said, Bora Bora. But most of that money is going right to a savings account for a rainy day. Mm-hmm. What about you? Me probably give um give my brother for them chairs, get him about a couple thousand, my granny a couple thousand, give you a couple thousand. We would just go chill and rest going like she said in the savings for a rainy day that way. We ain't got to really trip because I don't really be trying to spend no money like that. But there'd be certain points where you know you got to spend money and you really don't want to. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you got to. But if I hit the lottery, I'm going to just put most of that thing to the side. See that jump for a nice little day. Sorry, y'all. I already take my nap. I'm a old lady. Favorite movie of all time? Got to pick one. Got to pick one. Gotcha. Man, because I have, like, so many favorite movies. Like, it's Love and Basketball. Yeah, who, who you got Boys in the Hood. You got Menace to Society. Who, who doesn't got, like, a, you just got Not just one. to name all black of movies, course. but, like you still hell, that's all we know. Shit. Mm -hmm. Um, I would have to say, I ain't even gonna lie, y'all. Like, any really kid movie, like, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. Like, Cloudy with a Chance with a Meatballs is my favorite. All the time. Not all the time, but it's one of my favorite movies. Anyway, I can't. Anyway, your turn. Best movie, favorite movie all time, Home Alone. Home Alone. Get it! You know? Best movie ever, man. Yeah. Not this man said a Christmas movie as favorite movie of all time. Kevin? Home Alone was fire. Are you kidding me? Kevin again? Come on, I don't play. <sighs> anyway, what is one thing you can't go without? Mm, that's a tough one. All right. This is not like necessities like water, electricity, all that stuff. Because who the fuck can't live without this? Anyway, anyway, anyway. Um, I'm on. I'm gonna go first. Honestly, I'm gonna say my nieces and nephew. Just because the matter of fact, like, well, family as well, family. Yeah. Cause them boys keep me on my grudges. They keep me on my toes. They tell me the truth even if I don't want to hear it. Like, mainly my brother, granny, niece and nephew just keep me happy in a tighter space. And you know, my baby. Aww. She keep me on my toes and keep me headed in the right direction on the straight path, so. Money. 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 I can't. How can I take care of me and my baby? Money. Money, money, money. Fifty hundred thousand on my wrist. All right. All right. Stop the cap. <laughs> All right. Next question. What advice would you give to your younger self? Mm, that's a deep question. Don't trust nobody. Trust is a bitch. Okay. Love is too. When you put your heart, with not heart, if you start trusting somebody, and then they don't trust you or love you back. They're going to hurt you in the end. For me, I will honestly, for me, I will honestly say, live life. Stop focusing on what everybody wants you to be and live life. Because, like, I'll be focusing on what people tell me to do. Like, JT, I think you should be this. JT, I think you should be that. I'm focusing on more what they tell me and not just living life the things that I want to do. That's kind of one of the greats I had when I'm kind of younger. Focusing on what everybody say and telling me to do rather than just living life and going out there and having fun myself. But, you know, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> I like your answer. Thank you. Next question, are you a clean or messy person? Hands down clean. Messy. I can't stand stuff that's out of place and not organized. If this not in the right spot, I want it right there immediately. Like. Okay, that's like in the middle for me, like I'm clean, like, I'm not dirty, but sometimes I have to be lazy and don't want to put, say if I don't want to put this underwear in this drawer, I'm just going to leave it right there on my bed, like laundry-wise. Like, if I show y'all my room, y'all going to be like, bitch, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? What? That's definitely, no. I can't go to sleep without my bed even me. That's just me personally, like, that's how I grew up, like, on some clean, but. I can't even trip, bro, because, like, sometimes you have them days when you don't feel like getting up, like, she yeah. hanging off the bed, puddles in the back of the mattress. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Whatever. You just don't feel like getting Whatever. up. Whatever. Come on now, don't do me like that. You're a little fine. 
what what does JT do that bother you the most? Your eyes get big, like yo. The number one thing, clingy. That's that's a lot. Like JT, like I said, like he just said, clingy. Like JT is very clingy. He is very touchy feely, and I don't like being touched all the time. I like to be just sitting here, like right now, his knee touching my knee. It's fine for right now because I'm busy doing something, like I'm focused on talking to y'all. But I do not like being touched. Unless, you know, he touched me in the right places. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Next. Hey, do like that one, <laughs> Next question. Who is more toxic? JT. You? JT hands that. Not the chicken, y'all. Not the chicken. Sorry, y'all, but we had to stop by Buck's Pizza and get some wings. So. JT is toxic, y'all. Like, when we broke up, y'all, JT would call me every single day, tell people I'm his girlfriend, but still cuss me out at the end. Oh, my God. Y'all see what I'm talking about? Sickening. Anyway, next question. Mm -mm. No, 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 because you eating your chicken. I'm going to do the next question. <laughs> In the beginning, what moment made you fall for one another? All right, y'all, I'm going to stop playing. His, his love for me, like, JT is very loyal to the person that he loves. So, honesty, it wasn't his honesty at first because, you know, he was a goddamn liar. But it was his love. It was the way he showed his love and his loyalty for me. That chicken ain't going nowhere. Answer the question. Sorry. But honestly, for me, I would say, um... Just her um, her genuine kind heart. She's a very self. She's a very self-centered person. And one, one, like one thing about Tanisha, when she really loves somebody, she'll do anything to make them happy. Like sometimes she'll put herself first before them. She ain't care what type of stuff she going on. Like, and I have to tell her sometimes, you gotta stop being like that because everybody not gonna show you that same thing back. And that's one of the things I love about her because like. She just go out of her way in any and every way to show. She might not show the love right then and there, but she gonna show you in the end because that's the type of person that she kind hearted. People take her kindness for weakness, but she's a really genuine person. Once you get to understand and know her better, and that's why I love her. That what really made me fall in love with her. Her genuine ways. Bottom. Mm -hmm. All right, next question. Doo -doo -da 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 -da. How do we spend our holidays? I'm going to answer first. Um, we spend our holidays basically a little late-in nap. <laughs> we get up, get something to eat, chill, watch TV, basically. For Christmas, we really mat matching PJs, watch Christmas movie, best Christmas movie ever, Pole Express. Sorry, just had to throw that out there. But um, yeah, man, we just chill and not do too much. Just be ourselves and just enjoy the day as a couple. Yeah, since um, I don't have no family in Charleston, but like my immediate family, like mom, dad, and brother. That's another thing that get on my nerves. That's smacking. Anyway, back to the original question. But um, I only have immediate family down here, so we'll go to either we'll come back to my house or we'll go to his other family member's house and just chill. Like we don't. Sometimes we don't go out of town because who wants to go out of town on a holiday with all that traffic and no, and plus COVID. COVID is bad right now, y'all. Stay masked up. Hey. Anyway. Y'all need to um, go to Bucks and get a 20 piece with extra ranch. It might be taxing, but these wings are fire, all right? Better than that Taco Bell stuff y'all eating. Ooh. Y'all, don't hey, eat stop. that Taco hey, Bell chicken. Stop, stop, stop. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Goals program. for the future as a couple. Um, Just really loving each other more. Like, trying to better ourselves as separately. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Um, We also were trying to get an apartment. So, you know. <laughs> Stay tuned for our apartment, you know, tour and all that other good stuff. Um, that's really it. Just learn to love each other more. <sighs> for me, 
I will honestly say, um, like, doing more stuff outside the box. Like, we do the usual couple of things. We go out to date, we talk, but I want to see, like, just, just do stuff more. Be more active, you know? Stop being more scared to talk to each other, vent to each other, one another, but we just be more, be more closer to each other, you know, like, connect on a deep, deeper level than just mentally and physically, basically emotionally as well. Just trying to, we got a problem, we talk it out, we just don't, yeah. just be as one, you know, be a team, because we are a team. There's no me without her, and there's no her without me, so, and that's where the love comes from. Okay. Period. Y'all, not okay. yet to answer the question. What's our favorite restaurant? Hands down, anything that just got Mexican, like, tacos on it. Like, if it's got tacos on it, we will be there. <laughs> Hell like, yeah. <laughs> like, every, like, on our anniversaries or, like, Valentine's Day or just, like, regular. Because most of our date nights is, cause is on Saturdays or Thursdays. So, we usually go, like, Mex One or, like, Los Reyes, Los La Hacienda. Excuse me if I'm saying it wrong. Mm. Don't come for me because I don't know. But if it gets to like Mexican food, because we both love Mexican food, mm. like quesadillas, tacos, tacos, burritos, all that enchiladas. Stuff. I ain't never had an enchilada. Are you kidding me? Never had. All right, a break, um, burrito bowl. Oh yeah. The beans and rice with that extra chicken. Be tacking my butt. <laughs> All right. This is the last question, y'all. Last question, guys. But if we can go back in time and change anything, what would it be? It's a lot. Like. What? You know, my eyes are a couple or just separate? Separately. Like, if I can go back and change time, I'll probably. It would be the day that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to say it, but oh. it's um. Vic. He is sick, me, y'all. Every we, day, I know day. what you want to say. Say it. What I'm trying to say. You want me to say it? Yeah, go ahead. Since you the know so much. You lost no, no. I'm I mean, sorry. that I would go back in time and chase it if I could, but God picked this flower, and I don't want to <sighs> mess that up, like. It was it's painful that we did lose him, and it still hurts. Like whoever said Actually, grieving, whoever said grieving was easy, cause it's not. Yeah. But if I go back in time and change this thing, it will be the day that I can see my child. I yeah, y'all might not know, but I did have a you know a miscarriage. But I would, cause that's a pain I don't never want to wish to nobody. So if I could go back in time, I would change that. What about you? For me, it'll be losing uh, my old lady. Everybody know I lost my old lady when I was eight, so I'm kind of young. So, yeah, it's kind of difficult. So, just being, I just want, want her to be like, want to see us grow up, see me and my brother grow up and be the man we, men we are today. And just basically be right there with us every step of the way. Even though she, she's here mentally, you just wish she could hear physically. Get a hug, get a kiss, love you, baby boy, stuff like that. But that's no knock to the women who's in my life now, like my Auntie Pina, my Auntie Tutu, my granny, Miss Tasha, all of them. Like, I respect every last one of them. Thank you for what he did to me or he did for me. That's no knock on anybody, but just miss my old lady. That's how it be. But you know what it is. Yeah. Of course. All right, y'all. I did say... That was the last question, but I got one more point of question. Just one more. Stop the cat. Where do you see yourself in five years? Separately or together? Together. Uh -huh. I know I do see. I see this channel blowing up. I see this channel um in five years. I see this channel. Um... You all right? You great? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But um, I see this channel blowing up in like five years, seeing us collab with other people Yeah. in the future, you know, future collabs, you know, Pretty Boy Freedom, if you want to collab, hit me up, Cash Nasty, hit me up, Diera, come on, man, like, what's up, Funny Mike, like, 
collab with all the people that wanted to cap Ken. Um, Ow! <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, just you know. Yo, he get on my nerves. <laughs> I just want um be be lit though, like just um be lit, be together. In five years, I don't even want me and Charleston on. Okay. I don't be in LA. I don't know about LA, but LA. I don't want me and Charleston no LA. more. In five years, I see myself marry y'all. I see myself married, or at least engaged. Like I'm ready. I'm not ready. I lie. I'm not ready. But that's why I see myself in five years. I see myself out of my parents' house, probably in my own house, not an apartment, like an actual house, like a probably a townhome or something. Um, really, based on this YouTube channel, like. I was kind of nervous to start the YouTube channel, but you okay? You choking? You choking <laughs> oh. That's why you don't eat chicken and talk at the same time. Oh, but yeah, good. this was the biggest thing for us together was this YouTube channel blowing up a little bit more. Ew! But only the beginning. We gonna get there, y'all, and y'all gonna be right with us. So, and when we do get bigger, of course, there gonna be giveaways, you know. All that kind of stuff and surprises. Yeah, so you know, just help us grow. You know, subscribe, like, comment, turn yeah. on your post notifications, and all of your stuff. And okay. And don't forget, please get this video to two hundred views. The last one gets to hundred. We almost there. But if you get this, if you get this to two hundred views, we coming with the banger next. It definitely will be a banger. So just stay tuned. We keep you guys posted. And without further ado, kisses, 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 kisses. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.